hello everyone how are you i hope all are fit and fine so let us start our first topic from the chapter number one that is chemical equations and reaction in this chapter we have already studied about the what are chemical equations how to write a chemical equation and how to balance these chemical equations in this chapter we have also studied about how to make a chemical equation more informative along this one we have already studied some reaction of some metals uh, for example magnesium calcium etc with oxygen or water so now today we'll start with the next topic that is types of chemical reactions so now in 10th class and crt syllabus we have five types of chemical reactions these are for example first one combination reaction decomposition reaction displacement reaction and double displacement reaction and the final one that is oxidation and reduction reaction so we'll start with the first one that is combination reaction so in combination reaction two or more than two reactants combine with each other to form a single product dear students remember this is the identity of this reaction that is two or more than two reactant combine to form a single product now let us take some example let us take some example from the daily life and from your ncrt book so from your ncrt book we have page number six and seven we have some example here the first example is burning of coal or you can say carbon so when carbon that is coal burn in the presence of oxygen it form carbon dioxide gas so now focus here in this type of reaction we have carbon and oxygen we have two reactants and these two reactants are combining here while burning and form a single product that is carbon dioxide gas so now this is a very simple example of combination reaction now let us take the second one example from your ncrt book page number seven that is burning of hydrogen gas so now in this reaction we have a hydrogen gas molecule uh, that react with oxygen gas molecule or you can say hydrogen is burning in the presence of oxygen in this reaction and now we have product here water so now completely we can say when hydrogen burn in the presence of oxygen it form water so now you can see here in this reaction we have same situation we have two reactants that is hydrogen and oxygen they are combining here and they form a single product so therefore this is an example of combination reaction now similarly we have a lot of example from our daily life let us take another one given on your ncrt book page number i think it is six so here uh, we have example that is a reaction of quick lime that is calcium oxide reaction of calcium oxide with water so when calcium oxide react with water it form calcium hydroxide which is also known as slake lime so now here in this reaction the same process is happening here calcium oxide and water molecule both are combining with each other and they form a single one product here so that's why we'll say this is an example of combination reaction so now we have a lot of example from our daily life now you can imagine you can judge from, from your surrounding how many examples are there now this calcium oxide and calcium hydroxide both have practical applications in our daily life we use calcium hydroxide for whitewashing the walls have you ever seen the color of calcium hydroxide if your answer is no then search it this is your homework now when we apply a thin coating of calcium hydroxide on the wall 
it react very slowly with atmospheric carbon dioxide gas and form white precipitate of calcium carbonate which provide a very smooth and shiny look to our wall. We have an interesting fact here. The chemical formula of marble is also calcium carbonate. Now let us focus on the chemical reaction. In this chemical reaction, the calcium hydroxide is reacting with carbon dioxide gas and form white precipitate of calcium carbonate. So now this is the practical application of calcium hydroxide and this is very very important according to examination point of view. After this I would like your attention on the examples of combination reaction that we have already done. So now in this session we have studied three examples of combination reaction. First one the burning of coal. The second one burning of hydrogen gas and third one the reaction of calcium oxide with water to form slake lime that is calcium hydroxide. Now in all these three examples we know these are the example of combination reaction. This is the similarity in this reaction but beside this one we have another similarity in these three reactions and what is that similarity let us focus on this one. So let us take the example of first one again burning of coal or carbon in the presence of oxygen while the burning of carbon in the presence of oxygen it form carbon dioxide gas but it also uh, form heat energy here. The similarly in the second reaction the combustion of hydrogen or you can say burning of hydrogen with oxygen heat energy also produce. And in the third one case the reaction of calcium oxide with water here the same heat energy also produce. So in these three reaction we have second similarity that is heat energy. So now here we can classify the reactions on the basis of two categories that is heat evolved or heat absorbed. So the reactions in which heat energy evolved are known as exothermic reaction or you can say produced and the reaction in which heat energy absorbed are known as endothermic reaction. So now in combination reaction we are also studying another extra knowledge here that is we can also classify the chemical reaction on the basis of heat evolved and heat absorbed. The reactions in which heat energy evolved are known as exothermic reaction and the reaction in which heat energy absorbed are known as endothermic reaction. Now let us take the example of exothermic and endothermic reaction. So in case of exothermic reaction that we have already studied the burning of coal, the burning of uh, uh, hydrogen gas or you can say burning of methane methane in the presence of oxygen that will form water, carbon dioxide and heat energy. So these are the example of exothermic reactions. Now we have another example that is very important. Now we know we intake food and uh, the most of the part of the food is carbohydrate. Now this carbohydrate by some uh, how chemical reaction it converts into the glucose in our body. Now this glucose further react with oxygen to form carbon dioxide gas, water and energy and also one part is heat energy. So now here this reaction is also known as respiration reaction. So here we have an important question and you have to note down this one. Respiration reaction is also known as exothermic reaction. Now why it is exothermic? Because in respiration reaction glucose is reacting with oxygen to form carbon dioxide gas, water and energy. Uh, that is we know heat energy. So that's why it is known as exothermic reaction.
Now let us discuss about some important questions based on combination reaction. Our first question is from page number 10 NCRT book. So this question is a solution of substance X is used for whitewashing. We have first question here. Name the substance X and write its formula. The second question is write the reaction of substance X named in one above with water. In this question we have a solution of substance X which is used for whitewashing and we have already done this reaction in combination reaction. So I hope you are able to answer this question now. So now let us start. So in this question we have a solution of substance X which is used for whitewashing and we know we use calcium hydroxide for whitewashing the walls. So now here calcium hydroxide is a solution of substance X. Now we know the calcium hydroxide is a solution of actually calcium oxide. When we react calcium oxide with water it form calcium hydroxide. So therefore in this question calcium hydroxide is the solution of substance calcium oxide. So now the answer of first question will be that is name of substance X is calcium oxide and its chemical formula will be CaO. Now let us move towards the second question. Now in the second question the question is asking for the chemical reaction of calcium oxide that is substance X with water. Now this reaction we have already done as an example of combination reaction. So we will repeat this one. When calcium oxide react with water it form calcium hydroxide. Very simple. Let us move towards the second question. This question is on page number 15. On page number 15 question number 9. What does one mean by exothermic and endothermic reactions? Give examples. So now this question we have done. Exothermic reactions are those reactions in which heat evolved or produced are known as exothermic reactions and endothermic reactions are those reactions in which heat absorbed. So very easy. Let us move towards the next question on the same page number 15, the question number 10. Why is respiration considered an exothermic reaction? Explain. So dear students, this question we have already done in combination reaction. Why respiration reaction is exothermic reaction? Because in uh, respiration reaction, heat produce as a result. So I am repeating once again the chemical reaction. In respiration reaction glucose react with oxygen and form carbon dioxide, water and heat energy. So here in this reaction heat energy evolved. Therefore this reaction is known as exothermic reaction. 